How are you? I know you know why we are here. Yes, it's all about a KTN scoreline. Another enticing day, another enticing battle because the English Premier League is 19 days down the line and some of us are still having that World Cup hangover and we know it will be well because the Premier League, we talk about the football season that never ends. Yes, that is all what you always have. And today is another show altogether. And I'm not alone in the studio. I have uh, some of my colleagues who, for the first time, to join me on this set. And for the first time, it maybe it will be for the first time in many, because they might be the guys who will be replacing, who are replacing me on this other side. But Kevin Kimadi. Yes. Welcome on board. Thank you. How does it feel to be here? Uh, you're always around, but the other sides, now you're yeah. here with me. It feels good, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but. The first time it's always like that. Yeah, you talk about uh, the, those nerves. Yes, maybe we will be <laughs> trimming them down and we see how we will be doing that. Yeah. Rotunu Konyike. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. you just called me sir. Oh, my. <laughs> She's never called me sir. Now today I'm a sir. Yes, how are you, Rotunu? I'm good. A lot is happening in the world of sport. What some of the highlights that maybe will just come to your mind when you think about what is happening in sports? We just had the Monaco Diamond League yesterday and among the highlights of yesterday was Timothy Cherui setting our new world lead and a personal best. And also the breaking news of yesterday, we had uh, Chep Koech setting a new world record in the 3,000 meters Tipolchi's ladies feet. And it is quite, uh, and it's, it's a good thing for Kenya because she's the first Kenyan woman to set, to get a new world record in the 3,000 meters Tipolchi's. Uh, we had a big name yesterday, that was Elijah Manangoi, who was beaten to second place. A, a lot of talking points in that uh, Diamond League, and uh, I don't know what's, what are some of the highlights that you're having in mind. I know we have a team that will be doing duty for the country yeah. when we talk about the African Championship. Do you think that Kenyans will be able to start? Yeah, definitely we are going to start because if you look at the team that is going to Asuba, Nigeria, uh, we have some of uh, very experienced athletes and also some young athletes who are coming up right now. If you look at someone like Chespo, uh, she was participating last night at the Monaco Diamond League and uh, last week she won at the World Under 20 IAAF World Championship. So it, it's going to be an, an interesting uh, the new biz, yes, a part of the sports desk, KTM Sports Desk. Today, for the very first time, they are on this set. They'll be helping me to dissect some of the happenings at the World Cup. At the same time, what is happening at the world of sports when we think about what uh, Kenya will have to offer because we have different matches. You think about the Kenyan Premier League, no matches today, but tomorrow we'll be having that much major derby. But before we dissect all that happens in the world, let's start with some rugby news. We know that the rugby team, that the Shujas, they have been in action. Their quest, very simple, go out there and win the World Cup. Things never went that uh, positive for them because in their second game against Scotland, uh, sad and very, very sad for that matter, they were leading 26-0 and things stunned. They were hooped 31-26. And this is all that transpired and how it transpired is just as you see.